assembled. Looks like the sneaking around part of this party is over. Incoming! Armor fusion uplink activated! Lucky for me, though, I know someone who can make sense of it all. Von Bardis? Isn't she dead? Not as dead as she used to be. Looks like somebody wired what was left of her into a cyborg body. Now she's causing trouble in Times Square. I want people on the ground, saving civilians, and finding out how it is a dead woman's attacking our country! Let's do this! I know how difficult a climate we live in right now, and... Okay, there's no getting around this. We will do battle with men and women we consider friends. We will convince them to follow the letter of the law, and not their own selfish desires. And we will begin this task today. S.H.I.E.L.D. has identified a secret facility in the sewers of Newark, New Jersey. Our task is to hit this base hard and fast, rounding up as many unregistered as possible. Our primary target today is Cable. Intelligence says he's the man in charge of this facility and taking him out would be a huge blow to Captain America's forces. Good luck out there, people. Stay safe. Dr. Pym and I have developed a new form of nanotechnology, codenamed Compliance, that allows S.H.I.E.L.D. to not only track the location of supervillains, but modify their behavior as well. Should a villain injected with Compliance disobey orders, S.H.I.E.L.D. can remotely incapacitate them by triggering a biochemical stasis, a pause button, if you will. The villain's capabilities will be tested in the field by having them accompany you on your next mission. Your destination is the Geffenmeyer Chemical Plant, where we have staged a false accident in an attempt to draw out anti-registration heroes working in the area. When the anti-registration members arrive, we'll be there waiting for them. It's not easy to square off against friends, but what we are standing up for is right, and we must never forget that. But enough pleasantries. We just received word from Cable that he needs assistance. Tony and his people are attacking one of our bases, and Cable needs any help we can offer. S.H.I.E.L.D. has some form of nanite they're injecting into supervillains, using them like puppets. Good lord, Tony. How could you sink so low? More bad news. Petrochemical plant on fire over by the Hudson. Three or four hundred trapped inside. An accident at a chemical plant in our own backyard? I'm blind and I see the trap. We can't risk that there might be innocent people in danger. Assemble the team and move out. There is no one in control of the supervillains. The nanotech has become a self-aware neural network, manipulating its host in the interest of extending its control. What he's saying is, the little bugs he made are in control now, and we need to find a way to stop them. As much as I don't like working with a goon-like tinkerer, it's the only way we're getting this job done. If I could work with a sample of the finished product, pure pre-activation nanites, I might determine a way to counteract the nanites in the supervillain hosts. The only folks with a pure sample are the Sawbones working at the Negative Zone Prism. Now, I have it on pretty good authority. The anti-registration forces are planning a jailbreak to get their people out. So I figure we hit the prison at the same time, using the jailbreak as a cover for what we're up to. Sound like a fun way to spend an afternoon to you? Good. I knew it would. New transmissions. New movement near Wakanda. The nanites are using the supervillains to attack the African nation of Wakanda? Why? I would imagine they were after the Wakandans' natural resources, namely vibranium. But as to what purpose? What's important to know is that the nanites are spreading. Tony, are you hearing anything from Wakanda? Any non-nanite transmissions? Yes, the villains have infected the local gorilla cult, led by M'Baku, a.k.a. the Man-Ape, or White Gorilla. We start by securing the Royal Palace and ensuring the safety of Wakanda's leader, Black Panther. After that, we'll worry about the Vibranium. The, the Fold. The end of war. The end of strife. 
The end of all the plagues of humanity. And how would that be accomplished? By taking over by force? There will be no show of force. Everyone will come into the fold peacefully, or not at all. You will understand if I do not see the kindness of your offer. Here is kindness. We stop the attack on Stark Tower right now, if you and your people will join the fold. I do not pretend to know what you have become. But I will negotiate no surrender to you. All right. We gave you the chance. Remember that. Iceland. Iceland? What the hell is in Iceland? A tower. Looks like it's being used for communications. A tower that large. Made of vibranium. Tony! A repeater. With the power to broadcast around the globe. They're going to create a global network. A worldwide army. They'd be unstoppable. Not if we get there first. Use the tower against them. You're thinking stasis program. The original program that was supposed to keep the villains in check. They'll have adapted to it by now. But I should be able to modify the code enough to get through. We have a way to stop them. If we hurry. Then let's hurry. Get it! They're all paralyzed! The global media is all reporting the same thing. It looks like the entire collective is down. Great work, team!
And so with the global battle against the fold now won, thanks in large part to the combined efforts of the world's superheroes, Congress this week voted to overturn the Superhuman Registration Act. Additionally, all members of the anti-registration movement have been granted full amnesty by the president. Does this mean the country's superheroes can get back to doing what they do best? Captain America, former leader of the anti-reg movement, says he hopes so. It's too easy to think of superheroes as weapons, things to be controlled and deployed like an arm of the military. But that's not what they are. They're people. People with special abilities who want to help others. We can't let these recent events erase all that good work. And we won't. Because heroes represent hope. Hope that there's someone looking out for us. Ready to help us when we need it most. And because our children need to know there are heroes out there. And they need to have someone to look up to. At the end of the day, that's what really matters. And so, with the global battle against the fold now won, thanks in large part to the combined efforts of the world's superheroes, Congress this week voted to amend the Superhuman Registration Act. The updated act allows superheroes to voluntarily register for training without revealing their secret identities to the government or being pressed into mandatory police service. It's too easy to think of superheroes as weapons, things to be controlled and deployed like an arm of the military. But that's not what they are. They're people. People with special abilities who want to help others. We can't let these recent events erase all that good work. And we won't. Because heroes represent hope. Hope that there's someone looking out for us. Ready to help us when we need it most. because our children need to know there are heroes out there. And they need to have someone to look up to. At the end of the day, that's what really matters.
That hurt. But it worked. No pain, no gain, my boy. I ain't your boy, Stark. All right, that should do it. Won't be any Latvarian air support bothering us on our way to Castle Doom now. We'll take it on foot and bring in Bravo Team once we hit checkpoint three. On foot? You're kidding, right? Do you have any idea how little arch support I get in this outfit? Put a sock in it, webhead. Wow, socks make it worse, actually. He meant shut your hole. Bravo team, come in. Come in. Bravo, do you copy? Huh. Nothing new to me so far. But Black Ops aren't really SOP for you boys, are they? How'd Fury get you? Same way he got you two, I expect. Everyone owes that old warhorse favors. And he always calls them in sooner or later. Could be much worse than come this. In. Yeah, but don't you guys wonder, uh, I mean, invading a foreign country? Like we're soldiers of fortune or something? I've known Nick Fury a very long time, Spider-Man. We wouldn't be doing this without a good reason. Aw, oh, wringing your little hands over the poor Latvarians, huh? You think they do the same for you? Colonel Fury, what do you have for us? Mr. President, one of our ongoing investigations into supervillains recently had a major break. We've always been aware that many of these criminals who run around in high-tech armor were getting their materials from an underground figure, Phineas Mason, a.k.a. the Tinkerer. But what we didn't realize until recently is that the Tinkerer himself is being supported by someone outside the country, specifically Lucia von Bardas, the elected Prime Minister of Latveria. As you know, the link to a foreign power makes this, by definition, international terrorism. The evidence is right here, sir. We're under attack. Trust me, they've earned what's coming to them. Great. Here we go again. Hey, Fury, where's that Bravo team you've been trying to reach? Ah, communication still jammed. Someone's gonna have to go round them up. And you just volunteered. What? And leave all the fun to you girls? Bite me, Fury. No time to argue, Shorty. Take webs with you. Locate Bravo team and find another way into that castle. <sighs> you heard the man, Webhead. Let's move. Yeah, yeah. Sheesh. No respect. Manhattan continues to reel after tonight's devastating terror attack. Inside sources are indicating that the terrorists may have been from Latveria. Furthermore, they claim last night's attack was in direct retaliation for a secret, unsanctioned shield assault on Castle Doom exactly one year ago. Shield director Nicholas Fury, now wanted for questioning in connection with these claims, has disappeared. In his absence, Commander Maria Hill has been named Acting Director of S.H.I.E.L.D. Superheroes potentially linked to the Latvarian mission have refused to comment, leaving the rest of us to wonder why this horrible tragedy had to happen.
You hear what they're saying about that mission in Latveria? Color me shot, Steve. I have suspected we weren't sanctioned. You have suspected? Nice of you to say so at the time. Given a choice between Fury and the government, who are you gonna trust? Hmm. Tough call. That's why I didn't even ask you to make it. So, thanks to you, all this is on our hands. No, not on yours. The evidence is right here, sir. We're under attack. Colonel Fury, since Dr. Doom's death, Lucia von Bardas has bent over backwards to mend the ties between America and Latveria. We got her elected. This year alone, we lent her country $72 million in aid. Yes, sir. And it hurts to imagine what she's done with that money, knowing what we now know. Thank you, Colonel. I have a recommended response scenario for the city. That won't be necessary. Sir, if I may, this situation is sure to escalate. I can... We have a pleasant relationship with Lucia. We'll handle things diplomatically. Thank you for your report. I kept you in the dark so that if something like this ever happened, your consciences would be clear. It's on me, and I'm taking the fall for this one. You got that right. Damn it, Stark. You think these things grow on trees? I'm sure you've got plenty of backups, old man. You always do. Enjoy your exile, Fury. Wherever you are. We'll just stay here and keep picking up the pieces. And so, to answer your question, Mr. Senator, in spite of these recent events, I don't believe forcing superheroes to register with the government is the answer. This law would split the hero community right down the middle, with consequences I'm not sure any of us want to ponder. Is that really your best shot? Sneaking around doesn't become you, Steve. Maybe I'll need the practice. Maybe we all will. Don't be so melodramatic. This whole thing would affect you least of all. You're already deputized. You almost sound like you agree with them. This Registration Act would tear down everything we've done, destroy a century-old tradition of- I'm trying to save it, Steve. As much of it as I can, anyway. Don't you see where this is headed? All it's going to take is one more slip-up by anyone in a cape, and we'll be lucky if registration is the worst they do. They could just turn us all into criminals, hunt us all down. No, they won't, Tommy. Not in my country. Now return to our special live episode of The New Warriors, coming to you straight from Stamford, Connecticut where the Warriors have just been spotted by their super-villain quarry. Looks like it's on. I've got Coldheart, you guys. Hey, somebody snag Nitro. He's rabbiting. Don't worry, Speedball. I'm on him. On your feet, Nitro. And don't bother trying any of your stupid exploding tricks. Oh, baby, don't you even know. <laughs> You're playing with the big boys now. Reports now coming in from Stamford, Connecticut indicate a massive explosion in a residential neighborhood. The events leading to the explosion were witnessed by millions of TV viewers of the just New Just over Warrior. 12 hours ago now, and preliminary casualties are said to be over 600. In Washington, rumblings on whether superhero reform should be brought Following to the table. Following last week's devastating explosion, Congress has rushed through passage of the Superhuman Registration Act. With the president expected to sign the act into law, concerns have been raised as to how the country's superheroes might react. This is just completely insane, Hill. I won't do it. I'm sorry, was it not clear I was giving you an order? You're asking me to arrest people who risk their lives for this country every day. No, I'm ordering you to obey the will of the American people, Captain. Either you help us bring them in, or we'll bring you in. Weapons down, gentlemen. Or I... Trank darts, now! Keep us moving, son, if you want to 
stay conscious. You idiot. We were trying to save lives. Of all the people to go underground, Captain America. Now every superhero who disagrees with the act suddenly has a leader. Maybe we should hold off until- That won't be necessary, Mr. President. Registration can go forward as planned. We'll take care of Captain America. How many trapped workers did the radio say? Over 300. But something's weird. I'm not getting anything over my info net. No panic signals, nothing. What's wrong, Cable? Look, get us out of here. It's a trap. Of course it's a trap. How else were we going to get you all in one place? Skybird 1, is the area fully cordoned? Roger, perimeter sealed. No one's leaving the zone without our say-so. Copy that. Stand by. Stand by? You and S.H.I.E.L.D. going soft, Tony? We didn't come here to arrest you, Cap. I talked S.H.I.E.L.D. into offering all of you a chance at amnesty. You mean surrender? Thanks, but uh, I think I'd rather take my chances. Cap, please. You know how hard I tried to fight this. But that was before Stamford. The public doesn't want secret identities anymore. Registration is the only way to make them feel safe when we're around. Just give me a chance to tell you our plans for my 21st century overhaul. You've got five minutes. That's all I'll need. What the hell? Besides getting too specific, but a good number of those heroes got pretty badly hurt in the explosions. Including yourselves. No one saw what those mind-controlled freaks were trying to do, or that we tried to stop them. So it was up to me to save you. Cells at this rate. Are those the conduits we saw in the schematics? Yeah, the only exposed power cables for both the main systems and the backup. Those get cut, and all the cells open up, including Shield's remote control super criminals. You got it. But the release prisoners might give Shield more than they can handle, at least for a few minutes. Could help cover our escape.
thought the cavalry would look quite like that, but I'll take it. Man, I control. Watch what you're doing to those prisoners. They just... Damn it, Swanson! Get those prisoners attacking the right targets! We're trying, sir, but they're not responding. The inhibitor transmissions aren't having any effect! Then swipe their nanochains! Shut them down! Now! No effect, Mr. Stark! The villains are completely out of control! You don't say. Right about your nanite injected slaves. We had it under control until you busted in here and released them all. Gentlemen, I suggest we focus on getting our people out of here alive. You made it. Was Fury behind you? Hmm. Closed off from the other side. What do you think it means? Did Fury detonate? Step to one side, Captain. You and your friends here are under arrest. For Pete's sake, Hill, these people need medical attention. He's right. Lower your weapons and call in the medics. No, Stark. I'm under direct orders from the President. The SRA dictates that these unregistered- We're giving everyone temporary amnesty on my authority. At least until we figure out what just happened. If you have a problem with that, Commander Hill, you're going to have to take it up with all of us. Get the medics down here. So many lives apparently lost. And yet lost so that many more lives might be saved. We may not know the true fate of Nicholas Fury, but we do know he showed his willingness to sacrifice himself on behalf of us all. For him and for the rest of the missing and presumed deceased, we ask Almighty God to watch over their souls. Amen. All right, all right, it's working, honey. Enough already. Oh, swear. It's like having an entire staff of mother hens around here. It doesn't look so bad to me. So, how are you feeling? Well, like I've had nanites crawling in, around, and through every cell in my body. No surprise there. You did. Everyone else who was infected has pretty much recovered. But the stuff the Tinkerer put in you was ten times... I know. Believe me, I know. Look, guys, I, I just wanted to, uh... You can stop there, Nick. There's plenty of blame to go around. On all sides. And plenty of cleaning up yet to do. Yeah, there is that. I know you'll put it right. Get things back to where they used to be. I'm not sure things will ever be quite the same as they used to be. No, but that doesn't mean they can't be good again.